Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this tutorial for this look you see here. And I used a lot of forgotten favorite products. I've been meaning to do a video like this for a while and I thought I'd incorporate it into doing another fall look for you guys. So this is all products I used to use and swear by favorite products. I wanted to see if they still work for me. And I tried to also use favorite products that I knew were previously hyped as well to see if hyped up products still live up to my expectations and if I had continue to wear them. And I think this is a great look for fall. Not necessarily the lip. I think that kind of screams a little bit of Valentine's Day for me. But you will see what lip I used for my forgotten faves. But the eye is definitely fall appropriate and I'd still wear nude lips regardless of the time of year, but that's just me. So if you want to make it even more fall, more dramatic, you can definitely add a darker lip, but I've already done two tutorials with dark lips already for fall, so I figured a light one is, is nice for a change, and you guys know I love it. What I want you guys to do if you've been with me for a while is if you remember any of these products, I want you to keep a tally of how many of these products you know that I used to like love to know how long you guys have been following me because some of these take me back to my blog days so a lot of very old forgotten faves in this video and I really like how the look turned out so I still like my favorites and it's always nice to shop our old products and not necessarily go out and buy some new stuff hope you get some inspiration from this look and if you want to see how I created it using my forgotten faves then just keep watching I'm gonna start off my face with the NARS Pro Prime and this is their light optimizing primer with SPF 15. I used to love this primer. I went through stages where I didn't use primer, but I'm going to use this one because you're going to see what foundation I'm going to use. And then for a foundation, I'm using NARS Sheer Glow. This used to be my hands down favorite foundation. And I haven't used this for quite a while. So I want to see how it compares. I remember every time going back to this though, after not using it for a bit, that I still love it. But we'll see how it goes, if I still like it or not. I kind of steer away from such yellow tone foundations now, but this is what it looks like. And I can't wait to use this. I forgot how good of a coverage this is. But definitely I stopped using this on film because it's really hard to capture a yellow tone foundation like this without it being so yellow. It shows up a lot more so on screen. Taking you back, way back, to when I first started my YouTube channel. I'm using my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow, and I have my Makeup Forever Eyebrow Brush still, which is one of my favorite brushes still. If I were to use a brush for eye product, this especially is good for creamy products like this or if you have Dip Brow or the Benefit Cabrow. I used to wear this all the time. And I'm gonna use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set them in place. So next I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I also used to use NW25, but I only have a new one of NC20, which is pretty light. We're gonna use this to conceal as well as prime the lid. Definitely would use NW25 if I had that. Cause I don't do my concealer this light anymore. Still looks beautiful. I love this concealer. It's funny how we all just start trying new things and then we forget about some of our old favorites. Like look at the difference between that eye and that one. I need to start using this more often. I'm gonna also use this to highlight my face as well because it's looking a little strange just with such a bright under eye. I'm gonna tie it all together. And this brow is nice and this brow is struggling. That's pretty usual. If you followed me back in blogging days, I used to use my Cargo HD powder. I don't use that anymore. I wanna pick it up again, but there's hardly any places that I can pick up Cargo. But I do have the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation which I love. I remember this being my favorite powder foundation for a very long time and it has full coverage. I have the shade Medium Beige and Tan. 
I typically use medium beige, but I'm going to mix a little bit of tan in there because I think it's going to be a little too light for me. But the color might actually neutralize the yellow in the foundation, so it might work a little bit better. I'm just going to start off with medium beige first and see where that goes. I'm going to use this for my eyes first. Okay, I'm just going to stick with medium beige. And then lightly set the rest of my face. That definitely helps out the color. I think that's why I use these two together often. And that's some flawless coverage. Now that the majority of my face is complete, I'm going to zoom you guys into my eyes. We're gonna work on that and then we're gonna come back to the face. Typically kind of work my makeup this way. I just like my foundation and powder to set there for a little bit. So we're going to zoom you guys into the eyes. For my eyes today, I'm going to be using my Lorac palettes. We have the Pro and then the Unzipped. And I used to use Lorac eyeshadows all the time. This is my favorite palette for a very long time. And I haven't used it in quite a bit. So we're going to dip into both. I'm gonna use a lot of the matte shades in here. Going to start off with Unspoken from the Unzip palette and then I'm going to dip in to a little bit of Taupe from the Pro. Just gonna work on the transition right now. These are very pigmented and easy to blend. Remember why I love this. I'm going to take more of that taupe shade and I'm going to just go slightly above what I've been doing just because I just want that color to peek through. It was looking a little cool. I wanted to warm it up a bit. I'm gonna take Unbridled from the Unzip palette. Pack that on my eye. So this is gonna look pretty messy before it looks good. It's just how smoky eyes work for me. I'm gonna take a clean MAC 217 and just blend those edges out. Surprisingly, I have no fallout. I remember Lorac shadows giving me a problem, but they actually didn't do anything like that. Maybe I forget, do I? Going back to the Lorac Pro, I'm just going to take taupe again, just to make sure everything is blended. does look a little bit messy on the corners, but we can easily clean that up. I can't decide if I want something shimmery on the brow or matte. So I'm going to start matte. I'm gonna use the cream shade. And I'm going to mix a little bit of espresso in black. And I'm going to do a little bit of a smoky liner effect. Now I'm getting fallout. Ah, 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 abort mission. Wanted a little bit more definition, but I didn't want to do a full on liquid wing. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I used to use a Shumur eyelash curler and I have a new one. <laughs> a new one that I obviously didn't have back then. It's this Super Mario one by Shumura and it comes out October 1st. And then I wanted to use my Dior Lash Maximizer, and I thought I had one, but I don't. So I've been purchasing my L'Oreal Voluminous, because I used to always, always, always use that on my lashes. I know I got a lot of you into that, but this has just been cheaper. And the difference, the Dior one does have some lash nourishing properties to it, so it's supposed to help maintain your lashes and help them maybe even grow 
because I know it does have some additional properties to it other than just Prime. But I use Revitalash now, so I don't really need to spend the extra money on the Dior. So that's why I have L'Oreal. And then for the mascara, I'm using the Voluminous and Carmen Black, which I used to use a lot as well. Then for lashes, I have the Velour Dom Me Up. This is what they look like, and it's my last pair that I have. I haven't purchased any more of these. I no longer use Velour. I do still purchase some of their silk lashes, like the Fluffin Edgy Wispy line, but I don't purchase these anymore. And I'm going to take that unbridled shade on a flat definer. I'm going to tightly go close to that waterline. Since I am sick, you can hear it in my voice, sometimes these red shades don't really work well. They just make you look more sick in the eyes, but you know what? I'm just going for that look. So I just got some actually in my eyes, so try to avoid that. Then just with the pencil brush and the shade taupe, we're going to buff that out. I'm going to take a little bit of espresso in black and I still want there to be a little bit more definition. I'm just going to lightly do that mostly in the outer two thirds and then we're also going to do some black in the waterline. I used to use Urban Decay Zero Perversion, then I had Max Smolder Feline. I have Feline right now but if you have Smolder or anything like that, Feline I believe still is limited edition but it always is re-released. I'm going to put that in the waterline. Just using that carbon black on my lower lashes. So those are the eyes complete. For bronzer, I'm going to be using Nars Laguna. Don't think this will come as a surprise either. I use this so much back in the day. Still use it from time to time. I love this bronzer still. I'm gonna do a quick nose contour. For blush, I'm going to be using Milani Luminoso, and I still use this to this day. I think it's just a really pretty blush, and especially when you don't really know what to wear. It gives a nice little glow. Then for highlight, I was obsessed, and a lot of people were, with the Whisper of Guilt. And this has been a hyped up highlight for so long, and they're actually bringing it back for this holiday season. If you saw the packaging for that holiday collection, I need that highlighter. It is so pretty. Definitely still one of my favorites for highlight. I love this highlight. This is, I feel the highlight that really kicked things off for the beauty community. And right away with this formula, I was obsessed. Everyone was just going crazy for the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Formula. It's intense. Now for lips. I feel like this is going to be kind of pushing to Valentine's Day kind of makeup. Just because of the lip color combo it is. But you could wear anything for fall. This is just what I used to wear all the time and I thought it was funny to bring this back because this used to be so hyped up and it was the lip combo that Kim Kardashian used to use and I remember so many people going out and buying it, myself included, and it's MAC Strip Down Liner, MAC Angel Gloss, and NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss. I'm going to do that today, bring it way back to then.
then to set everything in place, I'm going to go ahead and use MacPix Plus. A lot of Mac. Mac was popular. Always has been with me. If you followed me for a while, I love Mac. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My apologies for the sound cutting out partway through. My microphone is on a battery and it died. <laughs> So I actually really love this external mic. If you're looking for one, it's just on a battery. It's not plugged into any kind of source to feed it electricity or anything like that. But it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's really great sound quality compared to some of other microphones on the market. So I'm trying to turn this negative situation into a positive. For any of my fellow video makers out there looking for a microphone, I actually really recommend mine. And you can tell the difference between my internal mic on the camera, which I used to actually film on. So I had to throw it back to doing my internal mic. That's why I did it. I did it purposely. <laughs> I hope you guys are in good health, feeling well, not sick like myself, but I'm getting better. So thank you guys for being understanding with my videos being a little bit late. Usually I upload today, but you're not going to be seeing this today when I should be uploading. <laughs> so if you follow me on Twitter, you would know that I'm a little bit late. But anyways, gotta go. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up if you did want to see more videos like this. I hope you love this look. I think it turned out really great. And even though the lip doesn't necessarily say fall to me, it does scream forgotten faves. Do you remember that Kim Kardashian combo? Did you buy it? Tell me. Did you buy it? I did. <laughs> so I'll see you all in my next video.